Hi and welcome back once more. So today we're going to be talking about Amazon SKU and why it's very important for your listing. Now I'm sure you're wondering what Amazon SKU. That's if you're new. Now Amazon SKU is basically used for attribution of your product. Say you have different products with different sizes, shapes, colors, and all of that. You use your Amazon SKUs to differentiate which size is this or which color is this or what is this or what is that basically it helps for inventory and for sales tracking that is what your amazon skills are for now luckily for you guys i'm going to be telling you things that i did not take note of initially i didn't know that amazon skills were that important like i mean i knew they were important but i know that they were that <laughs> important you get what i mean so what my mistake i did then was that i didn't pay attention to certain things so when it was time for it to be shown on my front store, on the store of my Amazon, on my Amazon store right there, it caused a bit of confusion for the listings. Do you understand? So I'm going to be telling you what to avoid so that you don't end up like me, especially if you're a beginner as well. I'm also going to be telling you how you can change it if you've already made the mistake. So stay tuned to the end of this video for that. Now, before we get right into the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on amazing contents like this. I'm going to keep dropping on this channel. All right, so we're on the front page of one of my Amazon stores. So all you have to do now to change your SKU is simply this. Click on these three lines just at the top right corner. Then scroll all the way down to inventory. Then go to manage all inventory. So we're going to click on that and let that load. Now, so you can just edit. Once I click on edit, I go all the way to vital info. Go back there. And then here, you see here that you can change either the size or the item form or the color. So you can change any of this. So now it says here, editing variation team keys is potentially dangerous. So please edit with what? Caution. So that means when you're changing, try to avoid too much changes. So it should just be within the same range. If it's something that's not within the same range, then you may have to start all over again. So now, for example, I selected size and color. So if I want that, okay, all the size should be same. You can use standard. If you don't want everything to be medium, length, short, once it to be standard, you can use that. If you want to change color, you can change that here as well. Now, once you're done, all you have to do is to click on save and finish. So now it says your changes have been submitted. So it's telling you, thank you for submitting your changes. If approved, changes will be reflected within 24 hours. Now, most times it takes less than 24 hours, but at least within the 24 hours time space, you should get the notification if it has been approved or not. 